Hello everyone and welcome back to my complete career mode run through in Kerbal Space Program 0.23. In the previous episode we attempted to take this rocket to the moon landing upon it with Merman Kerman. However we ended up stranding Merman Kerman on the moon. His rocket still has about 800 delta V which would be enough to put him in lunar orbit but not really enough to return him back to Kerbin. So I've left him on the surface of the moon pending rescue. This is completely stock, so so he's not going to run out of oxygen or electric charge or anything like that. So uh, so Roman Kerman is fine on the moon right now. And what I figure we should do is gather a little bit more science. Unlike my Institute for Kerbal Studies series, I am trying to get science quickly as as quickly as possible and unlocking technologies as quickly as possible. So Gaining more science from Minmus might be our next target because that will allow us to unlock new parts which will help us to rescue Merman Kerman. Now we so we are going to be taking a step back from our ambitions to land on other bodies but um, but we are not going to take a step back in terms of our rocket design. This Epsilon rocket did work it was just a little bit light on Delta V for a landing However, if we're just going to do a flyby of Minmus, it will do just fine. I do want to make some modifications though. We really don't need these small rockets, they are inefficient. If we're going to go to Minmus and just do a flyby, we don't need lander legs. And we do need some struts between the top stage and the lower bits. So, well, they're not really going to connect because we've got six. Uh, six-way symmetry down here and only four up there. Hmm. Clearly a bad, bad planning on my part, but we can connect them to the central body. I guess that'll have to be good enough. So, who do we send? Mm, not Jebediah. We need to send one of the other, one of the new three. Wildred. Yes, Wildred Kerman will be fine. So we're going to take this Epsilon 2, and I'm going to save it while looking at the career manifest, because otherwise Jebediah will sneak back in there. Okay, so we're going to go to Minmus, and, and there we will be able to do science such, so that we can unlock more technologies and in the future rescue Merman Kerman from the moon. Alright, so see you on the launch pad. Alright, so here we are with Wildred. SAS on, throttle up, and launch. Now of course I said we need to unlock technologies to save uh, Merman Kerman, but really we don't. I mean, I could build a spacecraft capable of saving Merman Kerman right now, and we'd be able to get him off and return him back to Kerbin, but but I don't feel like it, honestly. I I want to I want to do new things, and so so Minmus, especially because Minmus, we've got new biomes on Minmus. There are eight, I think they said biomes on Minmus, so. So I want to visit the biomes of Inmus. It's as simple as that, and uh, Wildred will be the one to take the first look at them in in, Kerbal, in my play of Kerbal Space Program, and and that is what we are doing. The new biomes of Inmus. Again, I I wish they had added biomes to all the planets. I hope this isn't a uh, situation where every update they update one planet and uh, it just gets drawn out like that. I don't think that should be necessary. Granted I don't know what it entails creating biomes but but I don't think it should be that difficult. Okay, here we go, gravity turn. I really should have timed it so that we were at the 
ascending or descending node with Minmus, then I could have done the gravity turn at a slightly different angle to match Minmus's inclination. But, but yeah, I think we'll be all right. As long as we're not trying to land on Minmus, it should be fine. I'm actually pretty late on my gravity turn here. So again, I'm going to make this a completely stock series for those who haven't been uh, keeping up just yet. And that'll be a new thing. I mean, taking a look at my other series, I basically lasted about six episodes before I started adding mods, so... So yeah, doing a whole series right to the end of the tech tree without adding mods will be will be an interesting experience. Takes some getting used to, and uh, once uh, going back, I will be continuing the Institute for Kerbal Studies and uh, the regular Elegant Design Bureau series. But and uh, but mainly, I'm waiting for the mods to be confirmed to be updated, or I have to check that the mods are uh, functional in 0.23 before going too far further in those series. But, uh, yeah. I, uh... Don't know how many of these series I can do at the same time, but... Especially since, like I was about to say, going back to them, I have to remember Fair Meryl Space, Deadly Reentry, and make sure that I'm uh, compensating for all that. Whereas here, I have to compensate for the fact that I don't have those. And, uh make sure I don't over design things or otherwise complicate things needlessly okay I'm just gonna cut throttle and coast to apoapsis at this point I keep making weird orbits that aren't vaguely circular so let's just do this All right. Wildred getting his first chance to get into space, and what a lucky fellow he is. He gets to go to one of the moons of Kerbin. Uh, I don't think any at real astronaut is going to get that chance. Of course, um, with the Apollo mission, I think there were a few astronauts who actually uh, went with... Did they? I, I don't know. I'd have to check. Going to the moon without having done a previous uh, space mission. But any further missions, probably that's not going to happen. Probably everybody who's going to go on a new mission is uh, to either Moon or Mars would definitely have some experience going to, uh, to the space station, the International Space Station at the very least. Okay, so let's do our plane change. Okay, and that will give us, what, 2.5? Not good enough, not good enough. Ooh, it actually shows me the whole thing. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Okay, plotting for Minmus. Oh, no, not a moon encounter, please. We do not need the moon complicating things. Well, it looks like it can't help but complicate things. Wow, look at that. Practically anything we could possibly want to do it's gonna get in the way and because we already have done the plane change for Minmus as we approach the moon it skews us into a totally weird orbit 
see now. Okay. What are we coming in? It looks like we're coming in so high. Oh, it's so far away, that's why. Okay. Well, we're probably going to have to... Well, maybe we can do one of these. Alright, I think that's fine. I think we can deal with such things. So... In eight minutes, Wildred will be heading to Minmus. Okay, the critical last few meters per second. And, okay, we've hit Minmus. Let's get rid of this. Minmus periapsis under 200 kilometers, which is fine. And yeah. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't just head out. This is gonna take a while. No, oh, we don't want to add a maneuver there. I guess a somewhat... Ooh, a somewhat uh, inclined orbit is fine. Though uh, this might be going a bit too far. Well, this is not the right place or time to fix that. Yeah, this is not the right place or time. I'm gonna get in a little bit close to make sure that we get the whole near to Minmus thing. Around there should be fine. Alright, we've got plenty of Delta V, so that is not an issue. Nope. We are fine on fuel. Unlike poor old Merman, of course. Merman, Kerman. Remember, Wildred, all your efforts go towards saving Merman Kerman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what was up with my maneuver node then? Jeez. Uh, can we... Can we boost that a little bit more, please? We don't want to crash into the surface. Right. That's a bit too close for comfort, I think. Oh, crazy Minmus trying to uh, trying to mess with us. All right, Wildred. Well, let's do a goo experiment first. While in space high over Minmus, the goo feels right at home here, and that's worth 40 points. Keep that data. Wildred, could you do us an EVA? Yes, EVA report please. Observations are worth 32 science. Good jer good, <laughs> good work, please. Okay, right, clearly getting tired. However, we are in orbit. We are so far looking quite successful, so let us persevere. And see what we can see on our close approach to the surface. What sort of a biome will we find as we near 15 kilometers above the surface of the, of the tiny moon Minmus? All right, we are near to Mimus surface. Let's observe some mystery goo. Uh, it still feels right home, so nothing much different between high and low there. Let's observe the materials bay. Ah, painting rockets with uh, with the glowing samples. Always a favorite. A hundred science. Let's keep that data. Wildred. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's find out what this biome is. Our first biome on Minmus. The Midlands! Oh dear. Okay. Well, we're gonna have Midlands on, uh, on Minmus. Just like we have Midlands everywhere else. Well, uh, Kerbin doesn't actually have Midlands, does it? 
No. But the moon does. Is this still Midlands? Lowlands. Lowlands. Okay. Well, that's something. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe we do have that on the moon, too. I just haven't visited them yet. Okay. That's two. Caught here. These can't be low, right? No, they can be. How can you tell what's low and what's high? It's just a blob. Well, we're getting further and further away. Uh, let's try it here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. So let's store experiments again. I wanted to EVA report. Uh, high over Minmus, we've already done. Okay. So we need to get back in close. We. Couldn't go any lower than that. Oh well. Alright, we should be low over Minmus now, right? What? Right, Wildred? Let's see. EV report. Highlands. Okay, Highlanders. We've got Highlanders on uh, on Minmus. Good. Actually, this will be a good time to do a crew, crew report before I forget. Looking at the surface of Minmus reminds you of your fail, favorite childhood dessert. You are tempted to taste the surface. Ah, well, we might let you do that. Don't know what the result will be, but it'll be an interesting experiment. We're getting pretty polarish here, but uh, it doesn't seem to have ice caps. Let's see. Nope, they're Midlands. Go figure. Would not have guessed that these were Midlands. And here. Highland, Lowland, Midland, what else is there? Well, nothing here. Uh, actually, hang out out there, Wildred, where you seem to be... Oh, I can't time warp if you're out there. Okay, bored. Let's see, when are we going to be over this thing? It's sometimes tough to tell. Uh, okay, get out, Wildred. Let's see if we're above it. Slopes. Well, slopes is a good one. It'd be hit hard to hit the slopes otherwise, but if we're at slopes here, board, store that, and EVA it out immediately, because... No, we're out of over Midlands again. Uh, hmm. Still... Oh, Greater Flats. Okay, Greater Flats. That's, that's another one. All right. Wow, we're really taking care of Minmus here. Of course, this is just uh, flying above them. Uh, landing would be a totally separate thing. Wildred, I think uh, I think uh, Merman is going to have a lot to thank you for. We're going to give him a ride back home in style. Okay. Well, if this isn't the pole, then then there are no poles. So let's see. Nope. Okay. Now there were greater flats, so I guess they're lesser flats. Let's see. Maybe we'll go one more time around. There's no uh, no oxygen situation. Okay, this looks this looks like something. Okay, try this. Maybe it's just slopes again right now. No. Oh, right. We're we're. Uh, high over Minmus and we are going higher so we're gonna miss this whatever it is this might be the lesser flats don't know that looks pretty lesser though that looks tiny how are we gonna come back in I don't think we're gonna hit any uh, other flats so perhaps we should just plan our exit. 
I always have this trouble returning from Minmus. Uh, when I haven't landed on it, I mean. If I've landed on it, there's no trouble like this. But, oh, jeez, that's why. I passed the maneuver node. Okay, let's try this again. Once more with feeling. Well, uh, I don't really care about the inclination as long as I could get in. But it doesn't look like that's right. It does not want me to not care about inclination. Okay, well, we're going to be coming in like a comet, uh, Wildred, but we've got the Delta V to slow down, I think. So, let's just uh, take care of it, and you're headed back home now. I think I've got too many reaction wheels on this thing. Don't really need this kind of maneuverability. Maybe that's not a problem with the lander that I sent to the moon. It was way too heavy because of all the reaction wheels. They, they're they like uh, 0.3 tons a piece. That's 1.2 tons I totally don't need. So that was a misjudgment on my part. Really those were there to keep the whole rocket steady, but once you've dumped the rest of the stages, don't really need that. Okay, realign, woo, way maneuverable, and off we go. Got two GUI experiments, one science junior and plenty of observations, six stored data, and I think I did the crew report, so we are all good. Okay, so... 13 kilometers is pretty deep into Kerbin's atmosphere, and of course I'm once again thanking my lucky stars that I'm not dealing with deadly re-entry. We will definitely be able to use the atmosphere to slow down at that height. But I'll probably also give a little bit of a kick to it to make sure that we don't uh, overdo things. Okay. Comet time. Oh, I, I think we should definitely go to uh, to this view and see Kerbin approach. And yeah, all right. We okay. Been doing a lot of we this time. All right, let's see now. Let's just burn off the rest of this fuel. So what biome haven't we landed on? Oh, you know what? Maybe we should uh, try and make orbit instead so that we don't uh, have to go down on the night side. I don't know if I'm going to have any choice looking at this. Ooh, barely lifting it up. Okay, periapsis, uh, rising very, very slowly. Well, we can uh, dump the external four. Those are going to be re-entering now. You know, I think that's shallow enough that we're not going to be... Uh, this orbit won't fully drop. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's let's do a little bit of a dip into the atmosphere, Wildred. Orient properly. And just uh just dip in briefly on the night side so that uh we can slow down a little bit more. Oh, well that's the end of our brief foray into the atmosphere. We're heading back up again, and 
And well, we're we're pretty far away from the KS uh, KSC, so it's not a likely destination for us. Uh, in terms of inclination, I mean, if you can see, you know what, we could probably ma manage that. I don't know if I can actually manage hitting the KSC. I've never managed it before, but uh, something like. I'm looking at it properly, something like this, and then this, mm, higher. Well, certainly has the benefit of having never been tried, at least by me. This particular approach to the KSC, nope, haven't ever seen this before. Uh, that's way too high. There's no way that's going to work, right? No, nope, nope, nope. But, on the... Bre well, we've hit grasslands before, haven't we? Okay, well, uh, let's take time warp off like that. Well, let's, let's be a little bit more daring. How horrible can I make my approach into the atmosphere now that I don't have to worry about deadly reentry? We are about to find out. Keep in mind, I already know that we have 500 Delta V because I calculated for about this amount of fuel. Um, this amount of fuel was about what was left on the Mooner Lander with Merman Kerman, so I know that uh, has about 800 Delta V in it. So, I know I can do this burn. All right, ready for this crazy approach to the KSC? We really do need this to work though, Wildred. So, uh, so make sure you get that science back to us. Okay, that's good enough for the maneuver node. Let's maintain retrograde so that we can slow down if we are approaching the KSC and have any shot of making it. Right. Up and then down. Alright. Here we go. Craziest approach to, uh, to home. Whoa. Uh, we might need to do some adjustments. Okay, yes we do, yes we do, yes we do. Um, uh, no time to plot anything. Prograde, where are you? Prograde and south, not north. Okay. This way. This way much more. How do we end up with this trajectory anyway? Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to correct it. This is quite crazy. We're coming in sideways right now. How did we get this trajectory though? I must have misread something. Oh, maybe the rotation of the planet? Possibly the rotation of the planet was the thing. Alright, well, we've, we've expended that stage, so let's just uh, throw down and dump it. Alright, Wildred, uh, let's get you oriented retrograde. There's no reason not to at this point. There's the KSC, but we're coming in totally different from it. 
On the right side, well, Druid, if you hit the mountains, you can do a little bit more experimentation, but on the downside, if you hit the mountains, we might not be able to save you. So try and miss those. Water is fine. Have we done water? Have we taken the surface sample of water? I don't think we have. Uh, thanks to the fact that the desert sample was not water. It was desert. Even though we already had a separate desert sample that that also said desert. But anyway, uh, go back and watch that video if you haven't already. That was episode, episode 2, I think. Or was it 1? Oh, it's all blending together. All right, Wildred. It's a crazy approach to wherever. Not quite the KSC. Closer than I've gotten it so far, though. But uh, that's because, well, this is insane. Are we going to be able to slow down enough so that that the parachutes aren't going to snap? Or do the parachutes even snap in stock? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to go with my normal Ferromero Space Deadly Reentry parachute thing, which is under 500 meters per second, we are go for parachutes. Woo! That was a weird angle to get them from. SAS is off. So, uh, Wildred, you might get a chance to contribute to our knowledge of water. The beautiful thing about water is, well, at least the sea is, you know its elevation. And so you can get out of time warp right before the parachutes decide to pop. And it's all good. Yep, Wildred's happy. No, we're not going to have Wildred pop out and do a overwater thing. I, I don't remember if we've done that already, but but I feel that's something special for the top three guys. Each of them got to do it, but the rest of these guys aren't going to do it. Okay, so successful mission to Minmus and back. Bringing back science that will hopefully help us to save Merman Kerman from the moon. Though not necessarily in the next episode, I'll have to think about that. Merman Kerman looks quite comfortable in the moon. Okay, well this is not good. Can we spin around here? Because... Uh... Alright, EVA. Whoa. Take a surface sample. 12 science. You've taken a sample of the water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. That I did not know. Anyway, EVA report. Look, that spacesuit is definitely necessary unless you are a very good swimmer and yeah, there's all sorts of germs in that water, so keep the keep the spacesuit on. Alright. Hmm. Can we get back in? Wow. Okay. Not really. Oh, whoa. Uh, grab. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I saw you say grab. Come on, do that again. All right. Uh, no, you're not doing it. Board. All right, we get to retrieve both of them at the same time. So, without further ado, let's recover this vessel and see how much science we got from Minmus. And voila, 432 science. All of it, I think, except for the water bit, uh, was from Minmus itself. Yes. Recovery of vessel returned from a suborbital flight on Minmus. Suborbital? We weren't ever suborbital. Anyway. I'll take it. 25. All good stuff. 
Mainly it was the new biome stuff from Inmus. Though uh, not exactly the catchiest names on the I could ever have thought of. But, um, but yeah, let's go to the Research and Development Center to see what kind of science we can purchase with this new... What, what, what technology we can purchase with the new science. That might help us to save Merman Kerman. So here we are. And I think what we really need is bigger rockets. So what sort of... well and we've got the decouplers as well. What's this one? Uh, solar panels are completely useless actually. Uh, we don't need solar panels yet. I mean uh, the extendable ones anyway. Now that's interesting. Ladders. After I have so much trouble getting Kerbals back into a capsule, ladders are very attractive right now. Okay, but first, um, these 2.5 meter fuel tanks, I've been pining for them in... Oh, and heavier rocketry. These fuel tanks and the skipper. Yes, I must have the skipper. Okay, um, big decouplers, yeah, I, I want big decouplers, 160 science left, that's just enough for ladders. We've wiped out our science, but we've got, we've got good things, we've got very good things, so tune in next time to see whether I save Merman Kerman or let him let him uh, take take a little bit of time out on the moon and uh, enjoy life there before returning. It'll all depend on whether I want to go to uh, another planet, make an interplanetary journey. After all, we've got the skipper engine and that's, that's more than enough power to get us to another planet. So, well, tune in next time to find out what I decide to do with that. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do press like. If you want to continue following my adventures in Kerbal Space Program, do consider subscribing, and see you next time.